So I'm going to take you a wee salmon fly. This one here is called the uh, Pink Panther. Or just a slight variant of it. And uh, I'll talk about that as we go along. Now the hook and the vise is a Partridge Patriot double in size 10 and black nickel. I'm going to use a uni 380 on white to tie the fly. However, you could tie a, use a red thread to tie the fly. I'm just using the white because I want to keep the front body nice and bright. Now the tag in the rib is an old silver tinsel in size 14. Catch this in underneath the shank of the hook and then just work my thread back just until I'm in line with the, sort of in line with the points of the hooks. Then I want to take four turns for the tag on the last turn, just bring it up and in between the, the two hooks and then I'm just going to work my thread forward and then fold the Excess oval silver tinsel back for the rib. That just locks your tag in if you're new to the videos. Just locks everything in for you. Now the tail's in two parts. The first part, some nice pink bucktail. I want this to be around about twice the length of the hook over the back. I'm just going to catch that in. Nice and tight. Make sure it's sitting on top. I'll take that away. Put a paper cup. I'm going to add in this is two strands of red mirror flesh. So the, the red bucktail. Take that away in a bit of a tapered cut. Just a wee like a wax. Now this fly, there's a request. I received it through uh, Facebook Messenger app. And the fly here was devised by a guy called Tommy Shaw in the, in the 1980s. So it's been about for a while. And it says in the wee description underneath the photo that I got that it's a good fish on the River Tain for spring salmon. Now the rear body is going to be a uni miner. We're going to use the silver. You just use a silver holographic if you haven't got a straight through silver tinsel. Four turns of the oval silver tinsel. 
up the body to that point there. Follow that around with her thread. Catch that in. Come in, turn away the waist. Now for the wing. I'm going to use this as red uh, fin raccoon. On the original pattern it was grey squirrel tail. Dye, or sorry, bleach, bleached and then dyed red. So I'm just my tail, you can have it as short as long as you like, it's really up to yourself. I'm just having my tail coming sort of way, just slightly longer than halfway into the tail. Just pinch it on top. Around with a couple of nice tight turns, lift the waist ends, trim them away. We favour there, take that away, just come in and hold the, the wing at this point. Then we can really tighten up over the, the cut ends. Then we'll get it to sit. The wing will sit lower anyway once it's had a bit of a swim. Then I'm going to go back to my two strands of mirror flesh. Just offer those up to the hook. Just fold the waist end back, it's just a lap of flesh in. <coughs> and that is our wing complete. Then the front haggle, I'm using a, this is a, just a pink hand haggle. You could use a pink cock haggle, or if you really wanted to make a brighter, switch over this over table. You'd use that nice, a nice magenta. That's a hen haggle. You can use a nice magenta cock haggle if you don't have hen. So just stroking back the favours. Reveal the tip. Just create that Christmas tree type shape. Offer this up to the hook. And the real of wax. Just fold back the tip of the haggle. Come in and break away the tip. stroke these back. Right, I'm looking two turns of this but if you wanted to keep it sparse you can just put one turn on with it being a, a hen haggle. It's one turn in front of the other there. Just working with th thread through the fiber, take out the stem, and then the stem's thin enough. So I'm just going to come in and just whip everything back. And then just tie up over the top of the stem. Then I'm going to add jungle cock, however, there was no jungle cock. On the original dressing from the photograph that I received. So if you don't have any jungle cock, don't worry about it, don't put it on. Because it's not in the original pattern. So just got two eyes here. At this point here. Sorry guys, interrupted there by my daughter, just asking me that I, I want a cup of tea, to which the answer was yes. So, I've got my two jungle cock eyes, and like I said there, jungle cock's not a requirement on the original pattern. So, I'm just going to offer these up to the hook. Just come around with a couple of turns, just then check the length. That in a wee tad. It's always worth way just checking the length and then we can tighten into it. Alright, good habit is to fold these back. Once you tighten into it, it just means now that they have to burst. I can't pull out. Throw in a whip finish and then 
then we're just going to brighten the head up with some blue bright floss. Right. Just noticed the jungle cat stem didn't break away clean, so we'll just take that away. Then the head, just going to use the blue bright floss number three, but if you didn't want to use the white thread, you could have just automatically come up with a, a red thread to tie the fly. So I'm just going to come in with my glue bright. Slip there. Just bring it up tight. Stop over the top of the head. Have a wee check underneath. Make sure we've covered everything up, and then we'll come in with the whip finisher. Bring your floss nice and tight. And come in, turn away the floss now. Just come in at this point because there's just some excess wax that's on the, the floss. Take it away. And then first coat on the, the head of my salmon flies is always just a tiny drop of super glue. Right the whole way right around. And this is a new pot so it should dry fairly quickly. And then I'll come in guys and hit that with couple of coats of varnish just to seal everything up but that's just a, a slight variant of the, the pink panther nice wee fly so hopefully you've got something from that guys sorry about the disruption there towards the end of the video but it's good that you're getting offered a cup of tea usually I'm the tea maker um, as always, many thanks for taking the time to view the video. It's greatly appreciated. If this is the first time watching one of the videos. Please consider subscribing. It just helps the wee channel grow. And until next time, be good. If you can't be good, be careful. And uh, catch us on the next one. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.